Well, sometimes when two people bring their unique love of plants together, magic happens. Chris Young and Susan Ottaviano are known as the two green witches. I was happy to ask them to share some gardening magic with us. Chris, I am going to start with you. Your acclaimed garden, Tiny Sir. Let's talk about that. This is a certified wildlife habitat. Sounds amazing. Now, that didn't just happen here, right? How long did it take no. you to create such a space, Chris? It Well, it's the garden's 20 years old now, and I would say I've been working on it ever since I started, ever since we got the house. And uh, it started with planting some oak trees, which are the greatest habitat plant you can have. And then I started planting things like milkweeds and things to attract butterflies and trumpet shaped flowers to attract the hummingbirds. And then I put in water to attract birds and other kind of animals. So it's just about creating a friendly space for them that's uh, chemical free, no insecticides, no, you know, things like that. I wish I was naturally gifted at doing all those things because it's so <laughs> wonderful. Now, Susan, your love of plants goes all the way into the kitchen. Explain that and what you have for us today. Well, um, I'm a food stylist. I'm an artist and I'm a food stylist. So I do food for TV and magazines. And and uh, with the book, we brought our love of plants and magic and uh, witchcraft into um, all areas. And one of them is the kitchen. So one thing I have to show you today is a love potion that I made. Um, and this has a nutmeg, um, a cinnamon stick, cloves. I've been marinating this for a um, two weeks now, and I just added a simple syrup. It also has cardamom in it. And you can um, strain this after you make it and put it in these little bottles, and you can add a little... Um, it's a little sweetener because it has a little vodka in it. I forgot about that part. And you <laughs> can add that in there, and it can be, you know, to add a little bit more love in your life and sweeten your tea or... Um, cocktail or iced tea or something like that okay um, we also have just some regular kitchen things like that you could find um you know in any cabinet like cayenne and um these are bay leaves and bay leaves are great for protection and for success with creative projects and um we also have here our like little uh, mix of of salt it's with rosemary and um uh, lavender, which is good for uh, rest and sleep and relaxation, and uh, mint, which is good for luck. And um, you can sprinkle that on just about everything. So just a few things that we're doing right now. The salt's I really good. You... Go ahead, Chris. Go ahead. I was say that salt is really good. I put it on everything. <laughs> Is it? I could yeah. use all those things in my house. Love, luck, success for creative projects. I need that. Chris, mm -hmm. it brings me to you. Like, I would love to start my own garden, especially a garden that would produce food for my table. Now, let's say I want a garden, a, a, a salad garden, that is. Sorry. What do I need? Where can I begin? Well, you need uh, always start first with your soil. This is this sounds so boring. But always start first with your soil. You want to get a really good organic um, topsoil, and then you want to get a good organic compost. And you want to make a raised bed, and you uh -huh. want to, you know, uh, mix in those soils. And then you want to go um, get some organic or heirloom seeds and okay. plant them. And you want to use uh, you want to use you want to surround them with plants that will draw in pollinators like marigolds and fever few things like that and then you plant all your lettuces in the bed and the fun part for you is just picking your lettuces yes i've seen them grow i know a couple of my friends do it and i am just in awe of of what they can do and oh my gosh it's delicious well how did you two meet or how did it how did it happen for you two um susan uh, has a band called Book of Love. And when I was in college, I heard them play in Chicago and I sort of fell in love and our, and I, it was one of the first shows that they had ever performed. And we sort of became friends right away, really. And our friendship's just grown over the years. And now it's 30 years later and we finally figured out a way to combine our talents into something. 
totally. Fun. We started with a, with a song called I Touch Roses, and then now we are touching the roses, and we um, created this book, so we're so happy um, <laughs> yeah. that we could do something together after all this time. So it's built, it's like growing a garden. The whole thing has taken a while to to uh, marinate in gel, but it's all happening. Thank you so much, you two, for being with us today. It has been a pleasure chatting with you. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. Okay, you can follow the two green witches, Chris Young and Susan Ottaviano, on Instagram at Two Green Witches. Their new book, The Green Witch's Guide to Magical Plants and Flowers, is available now.